Hello, welcome to Porting and Polishing Tips from CC Specialty Tools. You can find all the products you see uh, me use at ccspecialtytools.com or you can reach us at 1-800-762-6995. Now, what we're going to be going over right now is a technique with the 182 AMC. Um, I hear a few people having trouble with the upper transfers. That's uh, this port right back here. And uh, it's right below the uh, boost uh, exhaust ports or the auxiliary exhaust ports. But uh, anyway, this uh, upper transfers, they have a hard time with the uh, tool skipping and chattering. I'm going to try, uh, in fact, I think I heard uh, one guy on a forum describe it as a rabid chipmunk at times until you get used to it. So we're going to see if we can give this chipmunk a little rabies shot. So what we're going to do here, um, you'll notice this is in a cylinder head vise here, which allows me to spin and rotate any way, any way I want to. That helps a lot uh, getting some of these angles. The other thing is your technique with the carbide burr. Uh, you'll notice on this carbide burr, on this, uh, I'm using a spiral cut, which I feel is a little bit more controllable than a cross cut like this, um, or at least for this particular uh, application. And I have it chucked up pretty close. And I try to keep this head, this cutting surface, it's close to this uh, stable point of the head of the uh, right angle tool head as I can because that's going to make it uh, tend to flex less. The further out you have this shank, the more flex you get. So that's going to work against you. So let's go in here and let's just see if we can do this. Now, you're going to see my angle change here a little bit. Now you're going to notice the angle of my head. I'm angling the head of this the exact same as the cut on that burr. That helps it be more of a less of an abrupt jump. So whereas you might get skipping there at that slight little angle, I get it back. And you say, oh, what about the, what about the corners? Well, on this corner where I'm cutting with it, I have Pretty smooth presentation there. See, I'm just moving that. Well, see, and see when you get over to the contra angle, you get that little jump. So how do you do that? Well, you get what's called an SR motor. And the SR motor reverses, which means you get you a little left hand going the other way. The little burrs go the opposite way. And guess what? You get that same effect when you're going in reverse on the contra angle. Just a quick little tip to help you out, to help with some of the chattering and sputtering that you get on some of these angles. Now it's going to be the same thing when you get up here to this boost. If you start raising any of this boost uh, auxiliary exhaust port, I'm going to use that same, use that same friggin' technique. And I'm going to swap burrs, the left hand contra angle, and get less of that chatter. Uh, the other thing, the only other thing that I might mention is you notice my RPMs. I'm not way up here revving it out going crazy i'm staying down where it's uh manageable and controllable uh that's one of the great things about having the flex shaft trx or srx or srmc motors is that they allow you to have full torque at any speed and uh, like i said you can find uh, this little right angle tool at uh, ccspecialtytools.com or contact us at 1-800-762-6995